This video is an introduction to the ROCC kiln. It is a rotatable covered cavity kiln for pyrolytic production of biochar and thermal energy. As a pyrolytic kiln, it controls the supply of air to prevent the complete combustion of the charcoal that is being created by pyrolysis. The ROCC kiln is rotatable on demand. This is to accomplish the physical mixing of the biomass inside the container so that all of the biomass will have access to sufficient heat to complete pyrolysis. Pyrolytic devices come in a wide variety of technologies and sizes. Sizes are represented here by orders of magnitude. In the center of them, in the medium category, are from one ton to 10 tons of biomass input into the device in a 10 hour day of operations. Uh, at the upper end of the range are the industrial sizes. These include industrial furnaces, which are mainly for heat, but produce char in their ashes. We also have the air curtain types of technologies. A large size is from 10 tons to 20 tons per day of inputs, many different functions getting chemistry results from them, rotating kilns, etc. The lower end are the micro gasifiers from 1 to 10 kilos of fuel, mainly for cooking, and biochar is a secondary result. The small size and midi range include T-LUD barrels, which are about as large as you can go with a T-LUD technology. Also retorts, including the Atom retort. And we also have the flame cap or open cavity kilns. In addition, the flame cap with covered cavity kilns, I worked on and it was called the 4C uh, charcoal maker. What is missing is the size that can handle between one ton and 10 tons of biomass input per day. Basically, the ROCC kiln is to fill a large gap in the middle of the biochar production devices. The midi sizes are typically barrels or slightly larger barrels. The medium size in with the four foot diameter could be six foot, even eight foot diameter is considerably larger than what we have in here are functional and working well. And the large size ROCC kilns would be in up to 12, 15, 18 foot diameters. None have been built yet, but there's some scale models shown. Each ROCC pyrolytic kiln consists of four major components. The four components are one, the cylinder itself for the pyrolysis, to the rack that holds it up. Separate from this, but in close association, is the hood with its chimney on it, and also then the frame which holds that chimney into place. The front of the unit, where is the shelf for fuel inloading, and uh, also the side where the, the hood is located. Therefore, the rear side is the opposite of that, where it has the chute for taking the char out of the, of the kiln. The opening, the only opening in the a kiln is called the portal. And because it can be rotated, this portal can uh, be in six identifiable positions or movements. My thanks to Rocky Thompson of Gaia Video for his assistance bring this ROC kiln and other biochar topics uh, to the video audiences. Look for these at GaiaVideo.com and also at the website woodgas.com slash resources.